Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. I'm the owner and operator of DingerStats.com where I publish MLB game predictions every day. I use the Odds Jam API in some of my products and I've written an open source R package for using the API. I'm going to teach you how to install the package and use some of the functions to show you how easy it is to use their friggin awesome API. If you're not familiar with the R programming language, that's okay. You can still get an idea for how useful the product is because you'll see some of the data come through in real time. All right, I'm sharing my screen. Let's get started. So you start OGM homepage. If you go to their API documentation, in the Getting Started tab, this is the R package right here. So this is the code in the README that you need just to run like the basic workhorse functions that are in this package. So I've got a brand new R session right here. I'm going to open up a new script. And we'll just run the functions that are right here and ready to go. So first, I'm going to uninstall this to show you that it's easy to install it. Just copy and paste. Let's see. Load the library and then you just set your API key. Now you need an API key uh, from the OddsGM folks. If you need one, you can send them an email. All information is um, on their home page. Let's see. Right there. You can read that. I'm going to insert my API key off screen so you guys don't steal it. Not that I think you would, but you never know. All right, all set. Now, let's get back to where we were. So, the most basic function, you can just grab odds right off the API. You do that with the sum odds function. And see how fast it is? It just loads right up. Now, let's see what we got. We got a bunch of football odds for tomorrow. Let's see. Houston's playing Tulane, NCAA, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you just pass nothing to this function, just the sport, and to give you football, and it'll give you all um, a bunch of different markets. So OddsGM has, I mean, as you can see, just about everything you could ask for. There's player props in here if you look hard enough. And you can change these date ranges to get odds in the future. You can't get odds in the past. Um, they don't support that right now. But... I mean, who cares about bets that are already complete? Let's just look forward and make some money. So yeah, here's some more stuff for uh, the 9th of the 11th, and let's see what else we can do. That's a lot of information. Let's get it parsed down some. So this function, get days best, that'll give you the best lines for a particular sport in a particular market on a particular date. So let's run that and see what happens. So we're going to get the best money line bets for tomorrow's football games. Here we go. All right. So these are the games for tomorrow. Money line bets. And then here's the sports book. This is the money line bet. And then the price. So out of all the sports books that OddsJam supports, which is like, I mean, I want to say all of them because it's got to be. I don't... I can't think of a sports book that they don't have. These are the best lines out of everything that you could possibly get. So you want to bet on Tulane, you're going to do plus 200 on Bovada or bet online. They've both got the same price. Um, so yeah, you can get your best lines for any sport, for any date, uh, for any market, just like that. And let's go down a little bit further. If you want to get a list of available markets, so if you want to see like all the stuff that they have available for you to bet, you need to get some game IDs. So we'll get the NFL game IDs for tomorrow. So the only game tomorrow, which is October... Oh, not tomorrow. The only game that's upcoming is um, on the 7th. The Rams are playing the Seahawks. Let's get that a little cleaner. There we go. Okay, so there's the game ID. That's what you want right here. Rams playing the Seahawks. So that's just the basic game information. Use that ID to look at other data about that game with their API. So here, um, 
I've just called the first ID in the list of IDs. You can get all the markets with the get markets function and all you need is the game ID. So let's see what we got for that game. All right, so here's all the different markets that are available across all sports books. Uh, first half money line, last team to score, player total receptions, there's some player props, field goals, passing, just like, I mean, this is every bet you could possibly imagine. So what we can do with that is you can get the best line for any one of those bets. If you just grab the game ID and one of the markets. So we're taking the 29th market in this list, which is player tackles and assists for this game ID, which lines up with um, the Rams and the Seahawks. So let's see what the best lines are for player tackles and assists for that game on the 7th. And there we go. Okay, so if you want Jamal Adams over five and a half tackles assists, you're going to get it uh, minus 155 is the best price you can get as of right now. These update live. Um, so this is the current time. Uh, I think it's in Eastern time. Yeah, Eastern time. So it tells you the date that it checked it, and it tells you the date that the lines changed. So because these are the same, you can see that uh, they're updating you know, in like real time. So let's check that again and look at the times. Oops. Oh, just working. There we go. Okay. See how that clock's going up? So their API is updated in real time. Like, there's so much freaking information in this. The amount of stuff you could do with this product is like incredible. Um, if you don't want to goof with all this programming stuff, uh, this is just kind of a, a peek inside of how they, they run their stuff. They, they have all this information available in like just this really easy to consume format. And they even have uh, arbitrage opportunities for you. If you don't know what arbitrage is, it's like, so take these two right here, um, Falcons and the Jets, whoops. So minus 278 and plus 280. So if you bet both of those games, if you bet both sides of that, you would make uh, two points. That's it. So you, you come out on top with plus two. Take the difference between the plus and the minus, and that's if it's plus, then that's an edge that you have over the house. And the reason that works is because these are different sports books, and they all price the games a little differently. So if they price them far enough apart like this, like here we go, look. Um, Rangers and Angels, this is a game last week. There's a 12.5% guaranteed profit, which is the difference between minus 167 and plus 300. If you guys want more information about how to use this website, they have a ton of resources available. And if you want more information on how to use this R package, you do need a uh, OddsJam API key to use this. Um, just send me an email, mail at dingerstats.com. I'll get back to you, and I'm updating this package always, so it's only going to get better from here. Thanks for listening, and... Good luck with the MLB playoffs and NFL season. Bye.